Hey, it's Erin, EW Wellness Solutions. Today we're talking boundaries. Kind of a common term lately, right? Setting boundaries, someone cross your boundaries. Series talking about boundaries. <laughs> what are your boundaries? Well, as far as boundaries and self-love, part of the way we show how much we care about ourselves is not letting people walk all over us. So if we have people in our lives that take advantage of us, make us feel like crap, on and on and on, it is up to us to not let them do that as much as possible. For example, the woman at work who just whines and complains and makes you nuts with her incessant just negative crap, right? If she always just manages to put you in a really negative, bad, dark place about work, you can't go near her, right? She's just gonna make you notice how everything at work is bad. So drawing a boundary with her of like just not going near her or keeping it really casual and really light so you aren't just thinking about everything that's wrong all day. Because if you don't talk to her, you have a much better day, much better mindset, more productive. And let's face it, there's always things to complain about. There's always things to not complain about too. So if you know that she can be very influential to you, <laughs> it's up to you to find ways to not let her influence your mood. A classic example is us, their parents. So we're getting older, they want to know a lot of details, or they perhaps get a little bit too opinionated on the raising of your children, or how you and your spouse spend your money. A good time to practice setting healthy boundaries. You might not tell them personal information about how you choose to spend your money. You don't post things on social media so they can chime in on them. You don't include them on any decisions. And if they start injecting themselves in a situation, you cut it off. Not cut them off, just cut off the conversation about you know, what preschool you're sending your son to or whether or not you should be using a pacifier. Because it's your kid, right? At the end of the day, it's your kid. But you need to be the one sometimes to draw the healthy boundary so you can respect yourself because oftentimes they don't think that anything wrong you're being touchy you're being defensive you're being sensitive so and so is brainwashing you or whatever well they're gonna say that because as far as they're concerned nothing's changed and you're being something the fill in the blank word when to us we're like whoa, whoa this doesn't feel good I need to you know stop this feeling that I know is going to come if I let you go down this road. So when we love ourselves and we want to have a healthy regard for our own needs, which is the definition of self-love, we need to not let these people in <laughs> our mind space, in our head space, in that place where we can let their, their thoughts become our thoughts. Because there are times when we're having kind of a bad day, we're like, well, maybe the pacifier is the problem. Or maybe mom was right about how we spend money. Or maybe negative Nelly at work is true and everything here is awful. But if we don't put ourselves in these situations, life can be better. So let's be honest about how these people are and just navigate a little better about not letting these people pass our boundary lines. You can still be cordial, you can still love your mom. The coworker at work, it's up to you how you wanna handle her. Your mother's different. But just be aware, they're gonna have opinions. <laughs> That's just what they do. So having a healthy boundary isn't a bad thing, but just know that it might not be received well. It's okay, That's their choice. It's like it's your choice to draw the line. Q. Johnny Cash's. I walk the line.
All right. Have a good day, guys. Bye.